Good morning, guys. We are back here. Day two, Santee Lakes. I'm here with John. Tony's at the campground. He doesn't know we're here, but we are. Yeah, I, I don't know which lake this is, but it's where I caught the bass the other day. So we're going to give it a shot. John already caught one little six incher, and he's chasing a five pounder right now. Well, I think he thinks it's a five pounder. But we're gonna uh, do some some fishing, some freshwater fishing for you guys. Let me know if you guys like these freshwater videos. Comment below your thoughts. Let me know what you think, and I'm gonna keep uh, keep going at it. And hopefully, you guys enjoy uh, the new content I'm pushing out for you guys. So, throwing the worm again, and let's get this morning started. He bit pretty hard. Yo, what's up? We went to the bay, dude. It was extremely windy. So we're like, you know what? Let's take a deep shot to Santee. <laughs> Keep it close, too. A bit in that opening right there. Oh. Oh. My line started moving. I got some bad news. My GoPro decides to crap out a couple of my files as I was transferring it to my laptop to edit for you guys. But for some reason, they picked one video, one clip, two clips actually, two clips on my GoPro SD card, decides to crap out, but everything else stayed. So I'm pretty sad the fact that I didn't get the fight of this fish you guys are about to see on camera or anything like that. But I did get you know footage of that fish on this big camera right here that I'm recording with so you guys bear with me I hope you guys understand but I'm gonna let this clip roll and hopefully you guys enjoy it you guys let me know what you think about this bass how much do you guys think it weighed I didn't weigh it or anything like that but you guys let me know all right there you go my first one of the day look at the size of the head on that this is really skinny it's like he's super skinny been caught before you can see the hole right there in his mouth but his head is huge. If this was like spawning season, easily a three pounder, easy three or four. Right here, gonna let her go. Ah, oh, she looks weak. And off she goes. Yeah, dude. First fish of the day. Would have been a monster if she was full, but sick all right <laughs> i don't even care about like i don't know i'm kind of distracted from fishing right now. <laughs> Super slow. Ooh. Oh, she went right into cover. Tony, if you want to catch her, she's right there. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we are done with this lake. I caught two good ones. Or decent well one really good one only if he was fat or she was fat easily a four pounder maybe a little heavier my second one was all right it was about like a pound pound yeah like a solid pound healthy fish but we are gonna be heading i'm gonna hit up tony see if he's at the campsite we're probably gonna head over there one hour in four fish shoot why not so stay tuned yeah, hopefully we get out some more and i'll take you guys along with me so let's get this day rolling Back at the campsite, <laughs> two days in a row. But yeah, we went to the bay, dude, it was bad. Yeah, the, the wind bad. was terrible. 
Right when we exit, I'm like, damn, I already see the palm trees blowing. We made the executive uh, decision, came out here. Let's take a walk. So you only caught one yesterday, Tony? Yeah. When, when, when we were all gone? Huh? When we were gone? Yeah, later in the afternoon. What are you throwing? Ica. Ica? No wonder you throw so freaking far. <laughs> I'm going to the other side. Ooh, big boy right there. Right in front of you. Oh! <laughs> There's a little big guy right there. Yeah, he's wiped at it. Nothing. Hey. Knew I saw a loop in the reel. Oh. Right there, dude. I waited too long. Waited way too long for that one. I know. <laughs> I'm surprised they even caught two, dude. They said that's pretty rare if Santee if you even catch two or three. Hello. Morning. Morning. Two? Two, two all right ones. Don't eat anything, everything, man. You know, like, you just get the oh! Just broke, no. just broke me off. Just broke me off. Just broke me off. That was a big one. Oh my god, that was a big one. Big one. Wait, drop shot? Or is that same thing? That was a big one. Go get it. Better go get it cracking. Ah, oh, man. You're on a fight right now. Why is my line slack? Oh, he's on it. <laughs> All right, guys, back at the campsite. We were just chilling the whole time. I didn't get to record anything. We we're just chopping it up. Learning some routes about this uh, this lake here, freshwater fishing. Tony's uh, giving me a lot of pointers, a lot of advice how to fish freshwater here in San Diego. Kudos to him. So, so far, quick update. I caught three. I caught a really small one, which is about maybe 12, 13 inches, maybe 14. The other one was about 16. And that big, big one I caught, my first fish of the day. That big, could have been four or five pounder, if anything. So yeah, we're still here at the campground, Santee Lakes. It's nice out. There's still people fishing behind me. We are at Lake 7. This campground is freaking awesome. I'm actually considering camping out here soon or maybe next year, maybe this winter for my birthday. If you guys want to meet up, you guys, if you guys do camp out here, you guys do fish out here, I'm down to fish with you guys. Comment below if you guys want to link up at Santee Lakes. We'll definitely fish. I'm falling in love all over again with fishing. So if you guys ever get a chance, just hit me up or find me out here. I'm definitely going to try other lakes as I progress. I'm still learning. I'm starting off with the worm. Everyone's telling me to throw rattle traps, throw jerk baits, throw top water, this and that. I got all of that. Like Ned rig and stuff. I'm slowly going to build my way. You know, I got to get comfortable with fresh water first. So I'm starting with the worm drop shot in Texas rig. Get a couple, you know, a couple days in. Get the feel for fresh water here in San Diego. Then slowly build up rattle trap, jerk bait, crank baits, whatever, frogging. They'll be scattered around, but eventually I'll work my way to like wacky rigging, Ned rigging, all that other stuff, Jika rigs, all that stuff. So eventually I will get there, just like salt. I pretty much know every rig in the salt, what to cast, what to throw, what to use, etc. Here, freshwater is a whole different ballpark, so I'm still learning. So bear with me, guys. I'm still, 
this is this is a whole new world for me right now. So, all right, well we're gonna head out, guys. Good seeing you. Tony. All right, man. Tomorrow. Thank you for I'll the, see you tomorrow. Thank you for my stinky. Get rid of stinky. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, if it doesn't if it doesn't come out, there's probably a, a seal. Just take out the cap. Oh, I got you. Yeah. So. Yeah, you're part of it now. <laughs> well, we're about to leave. Well, we might come out tomorrow morning. I'll give you a call at like five five thirty. Yep. All right, cool. We'll for sure. You guys want us to bring anything if we come by? Thank you. Though. Right. No, we don't. Bring us something. Yeah, we're the tampons. Surprise! Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, Those are good, dude. I was just thinking about that. I, was, I just said that to oh, you earlier. From, they do, from uh, what's your favorite place? We like? Okay, sandwiches. I, I go to the one in my area. That's legit over there. Do you like the ham or do you like the barbecue? Pork. I do the pork. The pork? The pork ham? Pork. Oh, grilled pork? Oh, yeah, cool. Alright, guys. We'll see you guys. Alright, Tony. Alright, cool. Thanks a lot for the hospitality. Alright, off we go. Alright, so we're calling it a day. It is Sunday, day two at Santee Lakes here with John. So we're gonna be calling it a day. We caught, I caught three, John caught two. Two. Not bad for Santee. Santee's a very, very rough lake. If you're a local, you guys know. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna come back for day three. So stay tuned for that. And I'll do a whole breakdown on day three. We're John's gonna come out with me again, what? We're bringing everything. <laughs> we're bringing everything. Yeah, I'm gonna bring more rods, pre-rig everything tonight, get it prepped up for tomorrow. Then again, I wanna thank Tony and his wife, Tammy, for the hospitality. So hopefully we'll catch some more tomorrow. Super stoked. I'm addicted to green bass. It's been a long time. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode, next video. And as I always say, if you're new to this, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, hit the bell button for some notifications for new videos being uploaded every now and then. And thanks for watching. Peace.